right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula then? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves it. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> White fans have come out to see here tonight. Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the batty pimplet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimplet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimplet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblett does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblett package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Abima the Eagle, Abima Meta. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Patty! The Patty! Pimlet! Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Khabib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early enough. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Patty Pimble. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. He's one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Patty Pimblett getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound. Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere. It's oh! Well, 
make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mena! All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov, your winner by TKO. He excelled on the feet. Ground strikes were there as well, and he gets the finish that he really called for in our fighter meeting a couple days ago. He thought that he could dominate this fight. He thought that he had more skills and more ways to finish the fight. He gets the TKO victory, and as you would expect, it is all set up by the wrestling. The wrestling and the control allows for him to get his opponents out of there. And you just wonder what the rest of the lightweight division is thinking when Khabib Nurmagomedov adds to his reel with a knockout like this.